ranking the five TV shows that I have seen this year in 2024. They're all new shows too. I'm not pulling like the, have you guys heard of this Breaking Bad show? It's pretty good. In fifth place, this one really hurts. I really wanted to like this more and it's not bad. None of these shows are bad. I have Knuckles. Knuckles is a mini series, whatever you want to call it. It's only six episodes and they're pretty short. They're like 25 to 30 minutes. So the whole thing is only like two or three hours. When the show is Knuckles, it's pretty good. And of course, Idris Elba as Knuckles is the best part, is the best character. But that brings me to my main problem with the show. It's not really a Knuckles show. Instead, it focuses on the human character, the goofy cop from the Sonic films, Wade. Don't get me wrong, Wade is a solid character. The actor, I think, did a pretty good job. The show is incredibly silly, though. And I think that is a budget issue, probably why Wade has like 75% of the screen time, kind of making Knuckles feel like he's not there. You definitely feel the moments in the show where they're like, we can't do Knuckles, let's just stick to the humans. Because there's characters, the conversations go like this. Man, so dude, me and Knuckles had this crazy hamburger yesterday. Uh, and Knuckles, you wanna tell him about that? No, 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 we don't need to hear from Knuckles right now. I had a crazier hamburger. In fact, I think, Actually, Knuckles, maybe we should hear that from you. Oh, no, 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 it's all right. Uh, I'll speak for Knuckles. He he didn't really like the burger that much. Um, here's what I thought about the burger. Still a solid show. Dude, the, the bounty hunter guy, Jack, amazing. One of the best characters of all the show. He's only in two episodes. Guy's so good. Guy's so freaking, ugh, the screen presence, dude. He's so stupid and goofy. <laughs> I love him, dude. Up next, I have Has Been Hotel at number four. Has Been Hotel, the best part of this is the songs. I still like the songs. I still stand by it. There are some good characters, too, that I still kind of think about. You know, Adam, Husk. Uh, what's the what's the one guy's name? Tooth Fairy? Fairy Dust. <laughs> Not Tooth Fairy. That's Dwayne Johnson. Those are still some good characters. The overall plot, you know, now that I've had some space on it. Not insanely memorable nothing that really sticks with you outside of the songs but the songs are really good the animation at times goes absurd and it, it's a solid time doesn't hit the highs of knuckles but it also doesn't have as many lows up next i have fallout pretty good show what can i say dude the ghoul amazing one of the best new characters of the year i actually really liked lucy too the effects the direction the show is just a really solid a really well-made fundamental show again i don't think there's anything that's like really cutting edge really innovative in you know the story department the character department anything like that but everything is done really well everything you can tell that effort was put into this by people that liked the games and I really appreciate that. We don't get that too often in video games adapted to TV shows, movies, whatever that is. So the fact we got that here and the fact that it turned out to be pretty good, I think is a huge one. Up next, I have Invincible Season 2. Yeah, I'm including new seasons too. Invincible Season 2 doesn't start amazing in my opinion. It has a good, it has a good cold open for sure. But the first two-ish episodes, eh, didn't really get into it. And the finale, I wasn't I, I wasn't the biggest fan of either. But some of the episodes are just so well done. They're so entertaining. They're so emotional. And the performances in this, best performances of any show probably of the whole entire year. All of them are so good. You know, Sandra Oh, still, Stephen Yun, J.K. Simmons, all of these people. Even all the ensemble cast i'm talking gillian jacobs and people like that freaking sonic ben schwartz that's his name right oh and freaking uh sterling k brown dude in his brief role amazing animation is great i'm excited for the future and i think that that's what it does good it is more of a setup season it is still insane though the stuff that goes on really enjoyed this one in first place though i've been saying this um i can't wait for the show to be dethroned because i really like this show it's such a just like chill show and that's ted ted yes it is a prequel show to the stupid bear comedy movies i know you're thinking but again like fall it's just really well done i think it's pretty dang funny again nothing incredibly innovative but the actors the characters are so good dude blair is an awesome character the aunt and uncle awesome characters all these stupid insane hijinks that ted gets up to 
Hilarious. The one with the bully where they're like, become his dad. Hilarious. We don't get shows, sitcoms nowadays that are actually really funny, but also have some heart. And Ted absolutely does. And that's what made it stand out. Really like Ted. You can check out any of these shows. You can't really go wrong. But the top three, all really recommend. I enjoy them a lot. Thanks so much for watching. Sorry I've been a little absent on this channel. I went to New York. But the interviews coming back. Video essages are coming back. Uh, stay tuned.